Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your July through August love messages, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, with one deck, we're gonna get the situation. What's going on with Leo? And with the other deck, we're gonna get um, the advice. How should Leo maneuver in this situation? What should they do, okay? So let's get started. All right, the situation. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, <clears throat> it's much appreciated. Remember to comment below. It automatically uh, enters you to win a free reading. We did have two read two winners earlier this month, and um, we'll have more winners um, later this month so go ahead and take advantage of that thank you for the messages the love messages for Leo let's go for Leo bottom of the deck looks like you're showing up Leo king of wands all right we'll come back to that bottom of the deck queen of pentacles queen of wands two of wands queen of cups <laughs> Leo you are dealing with a lot of people a lot of women one man three women it's pretty much how it normally goes <laughs> um okay so some of my Leos, of course, are dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, people, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, like yourself, and then we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is Cancer. This is most times Sagittarius. This is most times Capricorn or Virgo. Um, it looks like you, you guys are at a crossroads in regards to who you want to be with. There's a hidden woman. There's a, a wife or a long-term relationship here. And then there's someone that uh, fulfills you on a sensual level. I don't know. Well, this is you, Leo. This is you listening to your intuition in regards to which way you should go, what you should do, who you should choose. Um, you can't see it. But... He, King of Wands, he or she is looking at these women, looking at crossroads, your energy again, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo with the Two of Wands. Um, for those of you who want to know if you're in a third party situation, yes, you are. Um, there are other parties involved. Now, this could be, and this could be a mother, your mother, mother-in-law. Um, but there's another party involved that is uh, manipulating the energy here to the point where someone feels like they have to make a choice. Uh, Leo feels stuck to maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in particular. The fire burns hot with this this fire sign. This is a marriage, you know. And then there's someone else outside of of this relationship. Um, she could be a good marriage partner, but at the same time, she's concerned about money and what you can do for her and how you can contribute to her lifestyle, maybe of luxury that she has created for herself or had someone create for her, what she is accustomed to vice versa he she you guys interchange that as you see fit there's the mother of your child or, or the father of your your children you don't know if, if to choose that person some of you it's three women You know, it's the one you burn hot for. 
it's the one that fulfills you on that sensual emotional level well this could be in your chart Leo you're trying to listen to your intuition as to which woman to choose you might be already partnered to someone but there might be someone else that just you can't get off your mind the connection is so great it's the magnitude of the connection is indescribable you try to describe how you feel to someone they look at you crazy because it's like well who is this person I don't even know this person and you feel this way about them Sun, Moon, or Rising, Leo. Um, wow. Let's see what the advice is. Let's see advice for Leo. My Leo woman, someone's going to make it. They're going to have to make a decision. They're at a crossroads right now. You, The communication may be um, short or non-existent right now because... They are really trying to figure this out. Um, I'm hearing that someone doesn't want to divide themselves anymore or they just can't afford to do it. Afford meaning um, energetically, mentally, emotionally, of course, um, monetarily. They just can't afford to keep dividing themselves. What's the advice? This could be you, Leo. This could be someone you're dealing with. Libra. Okay, so let's see what the advice cards have to say. To a fire again. <laughs> okay, so you might have to make the decision as to, you know, if this other person, I said Libra, excuse me, Leo, if you, if you could be dealing with a Libra. I don't know. Um, you might have to make the decision for this person. Uh, I think intuitively you know that there's someone else and you've been dealing with it because of maybe the life that they provide for you let's see seven of fire six of water ace of ace of earth will of fortune okay so the advice is I think intuitively you know that you know your psychic abilities have been heightened toward the opposite sex you know that firstly this might be your soulmate or there's children involved here so maybe that's why you aren't moving away so quickly I think intuitively you know that you guys are going to come together and establish something real go to the next level in regards of the relationship whether it's um actual marriage engagement uh, moving in together coming back a uh, coming back together um, it is destined to happen after someone chooses a new path there's opposition and the opposition is maybe someone external to the both of you uh, that could be a family member um, or someone external to the both of you that is another party um, in regards to this relationship you can have something very stable here this could be yeah a person that you have children with or you want children with um, you feel like they're a soulmate you know that there will be a coming together you never moved away from how you felt about this person even them taking you through the drama it or you taking yourself through the drama of bringing in all of these different parties because you couldn't have this one particular person or things didn't go in the manner that you wanted it to go with this one particular person. You keep having thoughts of them. You daydream of them. Um, you long for them to come back. This is someone um, who you just feel like this is, this is it for me. I want something solid and stable with them. It's going to happen. You feel it's destined to happen. 
your advice is just there's a strong knowing there's an inner knowing there's a an inner working this could I'm here in Aquarius for some reason Aquarius mm. something to do with a Gemini Aquarius could be of course Capricorn Virgo Taurus uh, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer is highlighted here. Cancer is highlighted here in the six of water. This could be in your chart. Anyhow, it looks like um, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. And you, you kind of know it. Your, your intuition is so through the roof. In regards to dealing with this person I don't even think that they know that they're going to be yours um, if you feel like this reading resonated with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel it's much appreciated all of my information of how to contact me how to reach me for a personal reading is below remember to stay in prayer Leo I'm praying for you pray for me as well take care